boys and girls. Today is April 17th, 2019. Okay, there it is on the phone. All right. I just do that to let you know this video is for today and we're expecting hail and all that. Now I haven't gotten to this yet here. It's still in one piece. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I elected to open up the Blockbuster first after reading the notes about the gearbox. I just wanted to take you through what I've gotten to so far with this box. And that is, here, let me zoom in so we can see what I'm talking about. Let me go to the screen. It's just an update. I haven't fixed this fully yet, but I'm working on it. And I've had other issues with other things going on in here. One more. There you go. So here is the front of it. I open this on the 15th. Today's the 17th. That's the end, the back sides, the top, the bottom, the back, and the uh, back with a flash showing the cleaning battery compartment. And here is just so we can see this is <laughs> that model 5259A 3 dash. 8D batteries, 49 watts consumption. Okay, and then here is your microphones, your auxiliary in, and your external speakers, and your oscillator button for the beat cancel or whatever. And the front front just comes off like that. And uh, <clears throat> the cassette deck is not held in place by any screws, so it just kind of flops over with it. And another picture with a flash. And here's just a picture of the uh, speakers, 3.2 ohms, 5.5 watt for the woofer, and I don't even look at that, it's max something, 4 ohms for the tweeter, alright? Anyway, moving along, another picture, and just trying to uh, see where the plugs all go, you have to undo these uh, three plugs here for that. And there's this brown plug which goes up here for the head, up to that circuit board. And here I was trying to get a picture of the circuit board. So here is that brown plug and those wires, how they lay out in there. Okay. And then just another picture, I unplugged it. Okay. And just another picture, just show everything is. It's all pretty clean up inside this model. Got a massive heat sink there for the amp. And then we have because I thought I was going to have a lot of issues with this tape deck, but anyway, so here's that view, this view, that view, the door just snaps on, snaps off, and then <clears throat> that's the recording bar lever thing, and then here is the backside with the original belts, and this has a secondary belt, which is right here, driven here underneath the flywheel, excuse me, all right, and here's just a bottom view of this, after, I, again, I was reading the wrong notes. It's about the SCR8 that has the issue with the, uh, anyway, so. But I did put new belts in this, so I took it apart. Now that I got all the views. And here's the, you know, the underside of that. Um, again, that's the old belt. Okay, so, here, take the old belt off. It's a flat belt. Um, okay, or no, it's not. It's a square belt. Excuse me. Here's the underside belt, which I wanted to make sure I get a good picture of that. So there's that, and then here's another view. Okay, and then just still trying to make sure I get pictures of that. And then <clears throat> here it is, the bigger belt, the underside belt, and so on and so forth. All right, and then here's the. Now I took four pictures of this because I wasn't sure I was getting the right tension on the belt. So this is about 12, well, anyway, it's about that much. And then again, um, it's still the same belt. So, and then the smaller belt was about um, 85 or 86 thereabouts. And again, I took another picture and I got a little, a little less, about 84 or so. So, and so I found the good belts, nice and round, to put them in. And then this is the front side, and uh, this is the 
idler tire, and I'll get to that in a moment. All right, just another picture. Another picture. Here's the idler tire, and the idler tire is worn because in play mode this doesn't quite touch the spindle there. So here is a idler tire that I have purchased already and it's the right thickness but it's too big a diameter. I'm not going to get into that but this little right here needs to be pulled on and it's not pulling this down and the spring is not tight enough and it just doesn't work. So here's the new rubber that I already put on here but it was too big, it was binding as you can see, it's uh, once it's put on there, it, it will actually touch this and not allow everything to work properly. See here, I'm prying off the old belt, okay, and it's um, you can see it's worn, or it's got some dry rod on it, all right. And here again is just the old belt, or old belt. I keep saying belt, the old lighter tire and a new lighter tire, which I am now. And then here is, again, just a height view, just to let you see that, okay. And that's it. So now, what I want to show you is take the camera off the tripod, okay, and uh, maybe a little handheld up close what I've been doing here, all right. So here is the light out, come on, so I can be. Here is the idler tire, or where the, oh, excuse me. Here's where the idler tire goes, right there, okay? And here is the original idler tire. And here is the one that I've been grinding down. And that's a brand new idler tire. So putting all three of these together and how I've been grinding them down is I found that a 3 8 inch diameter um, drill bit is the same diameter, well you can't see, it's the same diameter as, well, this tire, okay? And then if I take that and chuck it into the drill, okay, chuck it into the drill, okay, and then hold a piece of emery cloth underneath this as it spins, then I can grind down the diameter of this idler tire to be hopefully bigger than the one that I took out, but smaller than a brand new one. Okay, so you catch all that. Anyway, that's my little story here. So I'm going to hopefully now put this in here before I have to go back to work. Working my split shift that I do, driving a school bus. And make this cassette deck play cassettes again because it works fine otherwise. Thank you for watching. Enjoyed. Got to go. Bye-bye.